Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to my review of Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time Blu-ray. So, if you look, uh, first of all, if you are able to see any marks on it, I am um, accidentally got a bit of marks over here, where I'm trying to get rid of. But we could see this release of the Doctor Who 2017 Christmas Special, why it wasn't included in the Series 10 box set, as I said in the Series 10 Steelbook Blu-ray uh, review, I do not know. If we go look at the packaging, it's got a nice slip case uh, that you can take the release out of and flip it round. This release is rated 12 in the UK and Ireland. Apparently the Comic Con panel uh, got a 12 by the BPFC. I don't know if it, it's because of that or if the special itself is rated 12. Oh, sorry. It doesn't say on the case this release uh, rated 12 due to extras or anything. I hate it when they do that. If this, if the main feature is not rated, uh, the rating on the packaging and is and it's higher because of uh, extras, then it's, a, it's annoying when they don't say so. A lot of the classic who's do this, but quite a few also say it's due to extras that it's been raised. So, got some nice packaging on the slipcase and the nice uh, box. There's a lot of pictures of the characters here uh, of 12, 1 per, per Bill and the Captain. It's a shame they can get any pictures of any of the other characters. Uh, the Glass Lady, for example, or Rusty the Dalek, Clara, or Nada, or or the 13th Doctor, or even the original First Doctor. Uh, there's no Polly, there's no Ben, there's no Cyberman. There's no... Uh, the glass, the, who the Glass Lady used to be, there's no image of her, there's no... Uh, Gem Soldier, it's just these four characters. I know they're the four main characters of the story, but it's nice to have a little bit of variation between the images. I mean, these two are eerily sim similar, despite being at different points of the episode. Um, still, at least they've, they've got quite a few images. Uh, how many of these? There's six, six... Uh, there's about ten. And then it's a good release. Also worth noting the... Uh, oh, the extras on here, Doctor Extra, the end of the of an era, and this Comic Con panel. If you look inside, we've got a basic disc with the artwork of the cover, and a nice little leaflet for Doctor Who Mr. Men figures. The Doctors 1, uh, Doctor 1st, Doctor 4th, Doctor 11th, and Doctor 12th. And also their respected books, although doesn't also... There's apparently eight, there's eight books out at the moment, so why it doesn't also include Doctor Second, Doctor Seventh, Doctor Eighth and Doctor Ninth books at the bottom. Maybe it's because they don't have figures out yet. So, yeah. There's not really much to say about this release. Uh, I thought the special was okay, I thought it was pretty good. Yes, the first Doctor is sexist as hell in a couple of stuff, and his characterization isn't that great, despite a pretty good performance from David Bradley. It's not quite the first Doctor. <clears throat> However, most of the other stuff was pretty good. It does feel like unnecessary, but I thought we wouldn't have gotten a Christmas special otherwise, because Chris Kidnell didn't want to do one. I know some people aren't so keen on the Christmas specials, but most of us have like them. Okay, actually, it's probably the other way around. Quite a few of us like them, but most people aren't so keen on them. But, I don't know, I thought this was pretty good. A uh, pretty good send-off for the Twelfth Doctor. <laughs> Although, mind you, the last ten minutes are a bit of a drag. Uh, do drag out on the story a little bit, as it's just t Twelve actually deciding to actually regenerate. First Doctor manages to decide 10 minutes prior. However, it's still pretty good and enjoyable. 
and yeah, um, the episode I gave it eight in my review, I think. It was considering a seven, so I'll go with eight extras. Again, I'd give them an eight; they're pretty good. Packaging, I would give a nine, and content, um, which is leaf written, uh slipcase. Well, slipcases is kind of the same thing. Slipcase is a nine, and leaf content is eight is seven. The slip leaflets. So out of fifty, that is eight, and eight is sixteen. Two nines is eighteen, so sixteen and nineteen is thirty-four. Plus seven is forty-one. Forty-one out of fifty. So that would be about uh, eight out of ten. And also in the series nine one, if it was a, sorry series ten one, if it was out of ten, well, thirty would be the seven point five. So again, that probably be eight out of ten, and this one would be an eight out of ten as well. But yeah. So, it's a pretty good release. If you want to get the Doctor Who Christmas special, I suggest you pick it up. Especially if you want a slipcase. And yeah, pretty good ep good story. Like I said, I don't know if it's the one that if the story is rated twelve or if it's just for the Comic Con panel thing or either of the other two extras if they're rated twelve. I don't think those two would be. And uh, surprisingly there is no uh fan show episode for this, uh despite there being one. Uh, I think there was also one for Return of Doctor Mysterio, but that's not included on Series 10's box sets. Just uh, the ones for the Series 10 episodes themselves. And Series 9's ones, there was the fan show's finest compilation of clips from the several episodes, including the ones for the, the After Show ones, uh, After Show episodes, whose power for so Series 10, they've only got the After Show episodes for the 12 episodes of the series. But like I said, not Return of Doctor Mysterio and not Twice Upon a Time on this one and not any of the Series 9 ones on Series 9. Uh, including Husband's of River Song. Well, that's not a problem. So, that's it from me on this review. Not a very short review, consider especially considering how long the Series 10 one review. Before we do wrap up, I'm just going to see how the Twice Upon a Time disc compares in the Series 10 box set. You just get it out. Also, if it had been included in the box set, all, fi all six discs would be rated to 12. So, that is how Twice Upon a Time would fare in the series. Uh, 10 box set and also the fan show in the uh, standard one so his so it's basically like this I suppose the pe I've heard stories about people snapping their fan show disc uh, possibly putting twice upon a time's discs in its slot or place in this slot in this case uh, possibly then they'd probably have a twice upon a time empty case unless they decide to put the fan show there if they didn't snap them it's a bit why did they also, also why they didn't have a placeholder for twice upon a time I'm not sure but then again like the Bond ones it probably wouldn't have matched up with the artwork so that's twice upon a time Blu-ray review, standard edition. Like I said, there may be a steelbook release in the future, but I probably wouldn't get that because I've now got this. Um, same with with Day of the Doctor and Time of the Doctor, or Day of the Doctor slash Time of the Doctor release, as well as series three, four, five, re-release re in the latter's case, six, seven, eight, and eight. Uh, but future ones certainly would be so eleven onwards, for example. Okay, that's the reviews of Doctor Who, the Complete Temp Series, Steelbook, and Twice Upon a Time Blu-rays. Uh, I will be doing one for Sharda's Steelbook Blu-ray soon, but not yet. First, I've got to go and watch all the extras. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Nicholas Payne YouTube channel.
However, it's still shut up.